the crease tool cuts into our object. When the sub option is turned on, it creates an opposite crease. In 3D sculpting, rounded edges is very common. I've been using it on the nose, the regular crease brush to create those little canyons. This is a great tool to enhance the look and details of whatever that you're working on. It works best when creating the look of the lips. It's in a really aggressive brush. I don't want every edge of my sculpture to be this sharp. On the beard on the bottom, you can see that there's way too many sharp edges on there. It starts to look funky. Experiment with it. For the horns, I use the drag tool. It works great for making teeth and horns and stuff. I could turn down the intensity on the crease brush and use it on the horns as well. I guess they're more like antlers. It gives me that real keratin look. The crease tool saves me a lot of time and I can create a mask really, really fast in less than an hour. If you missed that tutorial, it's down in the playlist below. Pretty much is using the extract function under the masking tool. And I found a new way to do teeth. 